Hi to the comics and coffee audience. I'm Mark Osborne. I'm an animation film director. I just finished directing Little Prince. Uh, and you may know my previous work. I was one of the directors of the original Kung Fu Panda. Um, and I'm sorry I can't be there or be uh, participating at the time of the event, but I wanted to send this video along to give you uh, some answers to some of the questions that had been sent. Um, so the first question is, can I introduce myself and talk about my journey in animation entertainment? Um, well, I'm, I'm actually very lucky. I've been working in uh, film and animation for more than 25 years. Um, I studied uh, art first at Pratt Institute in uh, Brooklyn, New York. And then I got very, very interested in animation and I transferred to the California Institute of the Arts or CalArts in um, outside Los Angeles and that's where I got my degree in experimental animation. I started making short films. Um, the first film I made was called Greener and um, I started doing all sorts of different animation jobs, um, working for different companies, uh, doing commercial work, um, but I also did another short film, a personal film called More, M-O-R-E. And that film uh, got me nominated for an Academy Award. It, it played at film festivals all over the world. And it opened up many opportunities for me. And one of those was to get on a project uh, called Kung Fu Panda. Um, so that's a little bit about where I came from. Uh, I was an independent filmmaker, a personal filmmaker. And I got more and more involved working on commercial projects. And um, I'm very, very happy to say that I, I um, have kind of taken all of my experiences both as an independent filmmaker and as a commercial filmmaker and I applied that to the assignment of making a movie out of uh, the very very special book The Little Prince and so my latest project is actually a combination of sort of all of my experiences The Little Prince is a very very personal uh, film but it's also uh, was intended for a wide global audience Okay, now the second question um, about the journey of Little Prince. Talk about how we made it a huge success from a creative and a business perspective. Well, um, you know, I can only speak to the creative side. I wasn't really involved in the business side of that project. Um, I had two French producers, uh, Dimitri Rassam and Aton Soumash, who had created a partnership with the Saint-Exupéry estate, and they came up with an idea for making a feature film that would be sold all over the world to all the different territories where the book is popular. Um, so they came up with the business plan and the business idea and then they asked me if I had a story or a way that I could think to adapt this book. And so my perspective was coming at it as an artist and as a fan of the book I wanted to find a way that um, I could tell a story that would not only sort of protect the book and take care of the book but it would be a story about celebrating the power of the book and how it can affect a person's life. The book was very important to me and special to me because it was given to me by, by my wife back when we were just dating in college. And the book became a bond between us over the many years um, that we've been together. It's now more than 25 years. Um, and it was difficult at times. We had a long distance relationship and the book really became a link between us um, and we're married now and we have two children and you know the book has always been a presence in our lives so it was really important to me to find a way to tell a story about how important the book can be in somebody's life so that's really what inspired the story of the little girl and her journey of discovery and understanding the themes and messages from the book. Um, well my advice uh, the next question is about advice for the animation industry there in, in, in Africa and advice to upcoming studios. I, I will give the same advice I give to anybody, whether they're a student filmmaker or um, a professional filmmaker. It's really, really important for you to tell your own stories. As much as you're trying to be commercial, it's really important for you to think about your own personal storytelling that can make your films very specific and very heartfelt and meaningful. And that's the most important thing you can do as a filmmaker is to put meaning into your films, to put yourself into your projects, to have your projects be an extension of your um, creative experiences, your creative struggles. And it's really important to be able to do that even no matter what level you are at. Um, because those are the films that I think 
tell uh, the world about who you are as an artist, but they're also the films that are the most important films and the most interesting films. And they're the films that take risks and are honest. And those are the films that I think help um, push the boundaries of what um, can be done in, um, in animation, in, in filmmaking, in short films, in long form, um, in any kind of uh, expressive medium. And uh, with that, I'll just say I wish you all the best, and I wish you good uh, comics and coffee and animation and everything, and uh, I hope you guys have a, a great event, and I will uh, hopefully uh, see you again. All right, take care. Thanks.